In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can make this cool sharpening system for, yes, disposable razors. This really works and it will extend the life of your blades. And even if you don't shave, you'll learn my simple router technique for making awesome boxes like this with perfect fitting lids. I wanna thank Dollar Shave Club for supporting woodworking for mere mortals and I'll share a special offer with you later on. Now, let's get started. This project is really an exercise in working on very small pieces of wood and as the projects get smaller, the accuracy they demand gets higher. So I'm gonna start by ripping this board down to an inch wide. I'm also gonna rip a second one to use as not just a a tester but a backup in case I screw something up on this one. I'll resaw this to a half inch thick so that the box isn't so bulky. Now it's a matter of cutting two shallow rabbits in a groove down the middle of each of these boards. I'm using a quarter inch straight bit in my router. I'll use my miter sled to cut out the miter joints. Okay, so I'm not really sure why I resawed these pieces to a half inch thick because even in the plans that I designed, I made them a quarter inch thick. And I only noticed that once I put these four pieces together and it just looked too thick. So I thought about resawing these down a little bit more to get them a quarter inch thick, but that's just too tricky to get those accurate with these miters on the ends. So. I went ahead and cut all new pieces. Here's what the difference looks like. So this is the new pieces I cut over here with the quarter inch thick sides and this is the half inch and it just looks bulky to me. Sometimes it's easier just to restart and do it all over again. I've got these held together with rubber bands for now so that I can cut the top and bottom panel to size. And I just need to glue everything together. So I made a really dumb tactical error on these boxes. When I go to separate the lid from the base of the box, it matters which side is the top and which side is the bottom because of that groove that's on the inside of these. Normally I mark the top and the bottom and that's what you need to do on these, but for whatever reason, I forgot to do that. And so once they were all glued up, I couldn't tell which was the top and the bottom. Luckily, I was able to look at the video footage I shot and could determine which side was which by looking at the grain patterns on the maple. <laughs> so clearly the lesson here is to start your own YouTube channel so you'll have plenty of video footage of everything you make. This is where it's really important to have those extra scrap pieces that you cut. I actually have a piece this long so I can do a number of tests if I need to. I still have my router bit and table set up exactly as it was. I've lowered this bit so that it's going to cut right below that and if I need to raise it up a little bit, I will. If I cut this too deep, if I have it too high, then the lid is gonna not fit very tight. It'll be easier if I just run this test and show you. This is gonna determine how tightly your lid fits. Here, I've cut through it. It's almost cut all the way through. In fact, I could just break this apart. And that's really what you're looking for. I'm gonna raise it up just a little bit more so that it'll cut completely through and both of these pieces will be released. I just don't wanna to come too deep up in here or the lid will fit really loose. 
So with these separated, you can see how the box lid, which is this side, will drop down into that lip on the base. Okay, this is the part that Bob Ross would have called your bravery test to separate the lid from the base of this box. I'm gonna start by routing out three sides. And I've got the top of the box facing me. I don't want this final side to collapse in on that router bit, so I'm gonna see if I can hold the box together with some tape. It looks like it didn't quite separate, almost. I should be able to just cut that out with a knife. All right. Nice. Okay, so that's what I'm looking for. It's a pretty snug fit that doesn't come apart if I tip it upside down. I'm cutting a teeny tiny chamfer along the edge of the lid to give it a little separation from the base. That just helps to define the top and the bottom and it makes it a little easier to pull them apart. For the sharpening system, you'll need to cut yourself a half inch thick block of wood. I just use plywood. You'll also need some denim. For that, I've got a mere mortal's money saving tip. If you don't have any old jeans you want to cut up, try going to a thrift store. I picked up a pair of toddler's jeans for a buck 99. I'll put some spray adhesive on this block of wood and then staple the fabric on. I'll finish these with a few coats of spray lacquer. Guys, before I show you how this works, I want to give you another Mere Mortals money-saving tip. From Dollar Shave Club, the sponsor of this video. This tip will only cost you five bucks, but it'll save you like literally a billion dollars in the long run. I mean, seriously, don't you just cringe at the prices every time you go to buy razors at a brick and mortar store? Hey, is it any wonder beards became such a fad? Guys, let's face it, beards are so 2017. It's time to regain your face and Dollar Shave Club's got you covered. For a limited time, DSC will send you their starter set for just five bucks. You know what you can get at the supermarket for five bucks? Well, actually a, a lot of stuff, but definitely not a shaving set like this. You'll get their weighty executive razor with a full cassette of cartridges. Then they'll send you replacement cartridges for just a few bucks a month. Also included in the starter set is their shave butter, body wash, and <sighs> Charlie's butt wipes. Yeah, that's exactly what they are. And that's the first time in 10 years of woodworking for beer mortals I have ever said butt wipes on my show. Thanks, Dollar Shave Club. Take advantage of this great offer by going to dollarshaveclub.com slash WWMN. There's also a link down in the description. All four of your cheeks will thank you. Okay, so this razor sharpener is similar to a leather strop used to hone straight razors and chisels and other tools. You've probably seen those in barber shops, but with disposable razors in cartridges, denim works better. I was skeptical at first, but this honestly will extend the life of your blades and ensure that you get a smooth shave every time. I suggest sharpening your blades just before you shave when your razor is dry rather than right after you shave. So all you do is press the blades firmly against the sharpening block and make a series of backward strokes opposite of the direction you shave. This will remove any remaining whiskers, hard water deposits, and 
other debris as it hones the edge of each blade. It only takes a few seconds and then you're good to shave. I hope you enjoyed this project and picked up a few tips. This is one of my favorite techniques for making boxes. I hope you'll give it a try. Hey, if you're new here, please take a moment to subscribe to Woodworking for Beer Mortals and be sure to click that notification bell so you won't miss any videos. And finally, if you want lots more tips and shop updates, please follow me over on Instagram and Facebook for exclusive content you won't find here on YouTube. Thanks for watching everybody.